What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this on and demonstrate how it's already powered up in the red. And that's because the way that this is existing or currently configured, the non-inverting voltage is lower than that of our inverting voltage. And I'll explain why. The circuit itself, the entire circuit, is powered by 5 volts. A little bit higher than 5 volts, but essentially 5 volts. Due to the behavior of the LM339, one of the inputs, either the inverting or the non-inverting, has to remain 1.5 volts lower than the source voltage that's being used on, uh, to power the chip itself. That means 3.5 volts. I currently have the non-inverting voltage input set to that 3.5. Because I have this hooked up to the oscilloscope, you can see what the existing uh, input voltages are at the moment. The yellow represents our non-inverting, which is currently set to 3.5. The way that I did that was I created a voltage divider using two resistors, one that is 270 ohms and the other that is 680 ohms. Uh, it is uh, front-loading a trim potentiometer, uh, as you can see, but that resistor is current, the trim potentiometer is currently set to zero resistance. Therefore, the full brunt of 3.5 volts are coming through as the uh, non-inverting voltage. On the other hand of the circuit, uh, the input voltage is directly connected to our power source, therefore sending 5 volts. The purple represents our uh, inverting uh, voltage, which is indicating 5 volts up here, and our 3.46 volts, just below the 3.5 volts, of our non-inverting voltage input is uh, visually indicated right here. So the way that this works, as I mentioned, it compares two values. Uh, if I take the reference voltage and I start to increase any of the resistance with the use of the trim potentiometer, you'll know, uh, let me get my hand out of the way, you'll start to note that the purple line begins to drop. And this is because what I'm doing is I'm limiting the amount of voltage uh, that is being input to our uh, comparator. The moment that it reaches the same voltage of our non-inverting voltage, the blue LED goes on. Anything below that will continue to maintain the blue LED. And that's because, obviously, the, uh, the inverting voltage is lower than that of the non-inverting voltage. By bringing it back up, crossing the 3.5 volts, you'll see that our red LED goes back on. As I mentioned, I put on a trim potentiometer on the non-inverting voltage side, and that allows us to be able to adjust uh, the baseline uh, uh, to be compared against. As I increase the resistance to our, non uh, to our inverting voltage, uh, you'll see that it continues to drop, maintains red beyond the 3.46 uh, this time, 